Hello, and thanks for joining me on today's flight. Um, I can say in advance that this is not a flight that you would want to be on in real life. Um, going to fail multiple instruments during this flight. Um, specifically, we're going to be failing the artificial horizon, the heading indicator, the airspeed indicator, and the turn coordinator. And we're going to be in instrument meteorological conditions when that happens. Um, we're at Pineville Municipal Airport in Louisiana. We're in a Cessna 172, and our plan today was to take off and do some pattern work and fly over to Alexandria International Airport, which is just, just a few miles away, and uh, take it in for a landing and get some lunch. Uh, but I don't think things are going to work out that way for us today, so let's go ahead and get the airplane started, and we'll talk through how we're going to get this airplane safely on the ground in IMC with all of those failed instruments. Let's get it started. Avionics master switch off. So fuel selector valve both. Set to both. Fuel shut off valve on. So push on. avionics circuit breakers check in. All in. Starting engine. Throttle open 1 fourth inch. Quarter inch. Mixture idle cut off. Uh, idle cut off. Propeller area clear. Prop area is clear. Master switch on. By the way, we wouldn't be starting the airplane out here on the runway, but that's the only place that the simulator would let me put it. Flashing beacon on. And beacon on. Auxiliary fuel pump switch on. Fuel pump on. Mixture set. Auxiliary fuel pump switch off. All right, so advancing the mixture, get the fuel flow back to idle cut off and kill the fuel pump. Ignition switch start, release when engine starts. All right. All right, mixture full rich. Mixture after engine start, engine RPM 1000 RPM. Oil pressure, check. Oil pressure's good. Navigation lights on as required. Okay, we're gonna put our nav light on. Lighting light on for takeoff. Avionics master switch, on. Avionics on. Radios, on. Okay, so the only thing I do have here, I did program, again, we're just gonna be flopping around out here and then we're gonna land at KEX, and I did program KAEX into the GPS. You got that over here. Flaps retract. Flaps retracted. Before taxi. All right. So I'm not going to go through the full run-up. Uh, we're just going to take off here, and then at uh, an opportune time, I suppose, once we're well into the IMC, we're going to go ahead and fail those instruments. So here we go. Also, 
going to try to use this compass rose here on the GPS because there's a lot of lag time in a magnetic compass and you could be trying to correct inputs and it's uh, not reacting right away so it can get you into some trouble so I'm going to try to use the, the GPS uh, as a heading indicator because the feedback you're getting from that is, is instantaneous and I'll use the magnetic compass as a backup. Nice steady climb. At least we didn't calibrate this because I didn't go through the full checklist. It won't be any good to us for too much longer, but nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and set it to make a compass. Okay, so we're out of 2000. All the instruments are working properly. go ahead and plant and fail them uh, probably right around 3,000 feet. We'll see how it goes from there. The, the key would be to recognize the failures when they occur and make the appropriate uh, compensation with other instruments. I have the advantage of knowing what's going to fail and when. So in that sense, it's not quite as realistic, but I still have to maintain control of the airplane. Uh, in those conditions. I have a feeling it's not going to be easy. Here we're coming up on 3,000. Gentle left turn. 
there.
where the airport is. It's over my left shoulder. So I'm not going to have an airspeed indicator for this landing. So I'm going to be listening for uh, the sound of the engine and watching my RPMs. Looks like it's running a little slow. I'm going to add some power. track. And as I said, this is uh, not something that would likely happen in real life, but it's definitely good training. Okay, clear the runway. Let's see. So there's two Lima zero, took off, just flew generally, runway heading, everything was good. And then we had a, multiple instrument failures probably right about here. So uh, we were up at about 3,000 feet, as I recall. So then we started heading toward Alexandria International, but we had a lot of altitude to lose. So. Right about here, we, we broke out of that cloud layer and maintained a very low approach of about probably 400 feet and uh, landed runway 36. So anyway, uh, it was good uh, practice for me. I've never done that many instrument failures. Um, I hope that you were able to glean something of use from it. And uh, thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.